YouTube, it's uh, Jay from CB Outdoors. Um, we haven't brought you a video in quite some time, so we're just going to do a quick first impressions and a uh, quick like review just of uh, one of guns that Paul's picked up recently. Um, it's for his uh, missus. Um, it's a Ruger 1022, uh, 16 inch barrel, uh, standard model. I think they retail about 380 quid, something like that. Um, it's got a 10 shot rotary magazine, obviously, it is a semi auto chambered in uh, 22 long rifle. Um, the barrel is obviously steel, the receiver's an, an alloy material, uh, an alloy mix, um, the uh, trigger group and all that is uh, yeah, ABS plastic, the band's ABS plastic, obviously it'll give you a bit more light, um, and all the, uh, the rotor and mag is plastic as well. I'll just give you a quick, I'll show clear, magazine's clear. scope that's on here at the moment is a, uh, a contender by BSA. Um, pretty reasonable scope, it's obviously it's an air rifle scope, but being a, obviously a 2 2 long rifle it doesn't really matter anyway because there's not a great deal of recoil on it. Um, it's pretty good. I think it is a uh, 10 times zoom, um, but really we only shoot these at 25 yards so you ain't going to need a, uh, a couple of grand scope to be quite honest. It's, uh, uh, it does pretty well. I think they're about 120-140 pound the actual BSAs. Um, the mounts are Hawk mounts, um, they're uh, an alloy mount, which uh, are pretty good, uh, but they ain't too dear. I think they're about £45, £35, something like that from an air rifle shop. Obviously Hawk are well known for uh, making air rifle stuff. Um, the gun actually does come with a little tiny peep sights and obviously yeah, yeah, a sight on the front as well. So if you wanted to shoot it just off hand straight away out of the box, you can shoot it. Um, like I said, it comes with a 10 round rotary magazine. Um, the only problem with the Rugers is obviously where it's a semi automatic and it's got a rotary magazine, every time you shoot it, the uh, gases and crap obviously come back into the magazine. So the magazine does get dirty quite a bit. Um, but you can actually strip the magazine down and obviously clean it. Um, it's different with a bolt action. Obviously, bolt actions are uh, pretty layman's, so you don't really, really need to clean it that much, to be honest. But I think this is probably at about about probably 60 rounds for it, something like that. So it's still pretty green as a, uh, a firearm. It's still got to obviously uh, break in a little bit. And obviously the action's a bit stiff on it at the moment. Um, but accuracy, 25, 30 yards, uh, spot on to be honest. We shoot in an indoor range so there's no there's no wind or anything like that to affect the actual fight, flight path of the bullet. Um, at the moment, I think um, he shoots CCI stingers at the moment and uh, standard velocities uh, so nothing really too expensive or anything like that um, but this cycles everything anyway there's no problems with it at the end of the day it's a Ruger 1022 they're tried and tested they've been out bloody long enough so you uh, you would expect it to uh, go bang when you pull the trigger um, trigger's not adjustable or anything like that it's just a standard um, they say it's a two stage trigger and uh, so it has got obviously like a, a target trigger it's got a little bit of uh, play in the, uh, before the actual firearm goes off, but it's not adjustable for length of pull or anything like that, it's just a standard trigger. Um, I think you can get obviously uh, ones that have got adjustable triggers and things like that, obviously more expensive, but the beauty about a Ruger 1022 is you can basically just keep the action and just throw everything else away and obviously just turn it into whatever you want to turn it into really. You can have like AR style stocks, um, custom stocks, loads of different sighting options, you can hang bloody um, torches from them on Picatinny rails and bits and pieces like that but this is just in its basically standard guys and um, you don't even get a rubber uh, rubber butt pad <laughs> that's bloody plastic so uh, yeah like I said it's about 380 quid something like that um, so it is the cheaper model and I think obviously they go up in denomination for uh, little extras but yeah it's a good little rifle pack a little rifle for obviously what we do which is 25 yards into a range like I said um, if you've got any more comments or anything like that, obviously you want any more uh, info on the actual rifle itself, obviously give us a shout in the uh, comments box and um, we'll do our best to obviously get back to you. Cheers to that YouTube. See you later.